So let's talk a little bit about one-way and two-way selection. So one-way selection is, say we want to test some expression in our program. Well, we can come in, test that expression, and if it equals true, we're going to execute some statement and then return to some prog or point in our program. If that expression equates to false, then we're just going to skip over this statement and go to the same point in the program uh, that the true statement will go to once this statement has been executed. And that looks a little bit like this in our programs, just this if expression do a statement. And we'll look at an example of that here in just a minute. But let's look at two-way selection. Two-way selection is say you want to test some expression, and if it equates to true, I'm going to execute some statement and then go back to a point in my program. But if this expression equates to false, this time I'm going to do some other statement and then go back to the same point in my program that the true statement will go to after it's done executing. And that looks a little bit something like this in our programs. If expression, statement, else, statement. And we'll look at an example of that in a little bit. So let's look at an example of one-way selection. So this is just a basic skeleton C++ uh, template that you can just put some variables into. So let's say we have two variables, x and y. And we want to test if x is larger than y. We can do that using one-way selection. We could test if x is greater than y, then we want to output x is larger than y. But what if y is greater than x? Well, we can test that by saying if y is greater than x, see out y is larger than x. Cool. So let's come over here and run our program with G plus plus or compile our program first with G plus plus example that's CPP dash W all dash pedantic. If you see, I'll get an error for not having a new line there. That's just good practice. So let's fix that error real quick. That warning. Let's compile. And then we'll get this awesome a dot out when we compile. So we can run that a dot out by doing dot slash a dot out. And you can see we get two is larger than one output to the screen because y is two and x is one. So when it does this test, it will see, hey, x is not greater than y. So we're not going to output this. And then it will come in here and it will test this one. It will say, hey, yeah, y is greater than x. So let's output this. But if you notice, this kind of isn't so pretty. And we can make it a little bit prettier by just saying else. Because we know if x is not greater than y, then y is greater than x. Well, it could be the case that they're equal, but we'll go on to that in a, in a different video if they're equal. But for now, we can just change over to this else statement, which eliminates the need for that check. Because if x is not greater than y, then y is greater than x. So let's come over here and compile and run our program. And you see we get the same exact output, but this time using an else statement. And if I were to, I don't know, change this around from, we'll say this is two, and now this is like 10, if we save that and come over here, compile our program and run it, you'll see 10 is larger than two because it comes into here and sees, hey, x is 10, y is 2, 10 is greater than 2, two so that's true, 
So I'm going to come in and execute this line of code and not this line of code. And that's all you need to really know about the differences between one-way and two-way selection.